Men, I know the first time you think about cooking for yourself is when you're starving. And because of that, you end up falling into the same patterns, using the microwave, eating processed foods that are full of preservatives, or cooking those same old three things you know you can make. I'm about to change all of that for you. I'm going to give you easy, healthy recipes that you can make for yourself in 14 minutes or less with minimal cleanup. I'll even demystify parts of the kitchen that you may not be so sure how to use. More than survive, I'm going to show you how to thrive in the kitchen. Are you ready? Let's do this. I'm going to show you how to make a big, juicy, delicious burrito. It's the perfect man food. Now I'm going to have a beautiful garnish on the side of pico de gallo rice. So I'm going to get that going first. I'm going to use some parboiled perfected rice. Uh, it's enriched and I chose this one because I love the texture of it. It's a rice and rice made in Arkansas, grown and owned by the same company, the farmers. The gals and guys who grow this rice, I've met a lot of them and they're just super dedicated to the land and creating a safe, sustainable product for us. So I'm gonna try this parboiled rice because I love the texture. It takes a little bit longer to cook. So if you wanted to do it more quickly, you could use the long grain rice or you could use the short grain rice. That'll be a little stickier, especially the short grain rice. So I've got that going. I've got a cup of rice for two cups of water. I'm gonna cover it, let it come up to a boil and then lower that to a simmer. It's gonna be delicious. Now I'm gonna get my skillet going. I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil to the skillet. And I'm gonna add some ground beef and some diced onion. Now, you can really mix it up with the meat here. I just got a pound of ground beef from the grocery store, but you could try ground venison, ground turkey, ground pork, get fancy, even bison. That's a really wonderful lean meat. Now, while that meat starts to brown, I'm gonna dice our onion. Now, that's super simple. I just lob off both ends. Then you cut it right in half. Then you peel it. And my super quick way of dicing an onion is two slices in the sideways, two to four slices over the top, and then a quick dice along the sides. It's already smelling so good. Get some salt going. I love sea salt. It helps release all of those flavors and those juices. It cooks more quickly. Break it up with your wooden spoon. All those nice brown bits are gonna form. I've got some chili powder. You can go wild with, with the spices. If you like some heat, you could add cayenne or hot sauce. I even like to add a little dash of cinnamon sometimes to my ground meat. It actually adds a little intrigue. We all need a little intrigue in our lives, right? And I've got some ground oregano and a little bit of ground cumin. You can also try some curry powder. Go wild, get creative. This is your chance to get your creative side out. All right, now we're gonna coat all of those onions and those ground beautiful pieces of meat. Keep breaking them up. So my meat and my onions are browning. I'm gonna add a half a can of enchilada sauce. And that's gonna scrape up all of those nice juicy brown bits at the bottom of the pan. And while that simmers over low heat, then I'm gonna get my burrito ready. I'm gonna have a microwave safe plate with a big tortilla on top. Then I'm going to take a big scoop of refried beans and just spread it all around. Put a nice dose of cheese on there. I'm gonna do some cheddar cheese. About a cup, maybe a little less, maybe half a cup. Spread that all around. Then we're gonna pop this in the microwave for one minute until it's nice and melted. We've got our big juicy burrito here, covered with melted cheese and refried beans. Now we're gonna add our meat mixture, which has been simmering over high heat. Let a little bit of that liquid reduce. So we've got our ground beef and our onions and our enchilada sauce. Put a nice juicy helping on top. Now that we have all of our meat in our burrito, we get to roll it up. It's a big juicy one. Get those ends folded in and then give it a nice roll all around. This is a serious burrito, guys. 
Now we're gonna add a little bit more enchilada sauce on top. A little bit more cheese. Then we're gonna pop it in the microwave for one minute and then we're gonna put our side of rice together and dig in. This looks so friggin' good. We're gonna take our rice and make our pico de gallo rice. I love this parboiled rice. It has an amazing texture. It's sort of PC rather than gummy. I got this pico de gallo from the produce section of the grocery store. It's full of tomatoes, sliced green onion, white onion, and it's really easy and it's already made. I got a small container so I can use it all at once. I don't have to deal with leftovers. And I'm just mixing that into the rice. It's festive, it's pretty looking. We're just gonna add that to the side of our delicious burrito. Okay, a little bit of garnish, a little cilantro if you want. But I always say it's good to make the plate look pretty. It makes the food taste better. Mmm, so good. I need a moment.